Well, it's a whole it's a whole process. It's not a it's not a short term process. A lot of people looking for quick fixes. Um, a lot of people are doing messages in you know, advocacy groups. Um, it's it's a lot more than that. If someone wants to change, they've got to go through a through a process of coaching, uh, counselling. Um, they've got to really take time to look within. Um, we know about all kinds of technology. We know about mo mobile phones, cameras, laptops, you know, how to build skyscrapers, all that kind of stuff. But the individual does not know how to manage the technology that is themselves, um, that is your mind. So it's my encouragement that if you want to manifest anything great, including how to manage your mind, overcome violence, you've got to turn it inward. The answer is always inside. It's got nothing to do with your partner or your boss or your friends or anything. If you want to change anything in your life, you've got to look inside. So it's understanding this technology. Now, Warrior Culture, we do a lot of um, coaching coaching and training for, for men's groups, for women's groups, for community groups, uh, for corporates. Uh, we travel around Papua New Guinea doing it. Um, I'm a judge on Digital Men of Honor, so we recognize the important work that men are doing around the, around PNG. So I challenge men and women, uh, especially men, to take the lead. Physical violence, and I'm, I'm saying it on camera, physical violence is actually a manifestation of your fear, um, as we discussed. It actually shows the, that you are unable to manage your mindset plus your emotions. So when you are scared, you're going to resort to fight, flight, or freeze. I challenge all the men, plus women, who are committing other forms of violence like verbal abuse, psychological abuse, all of that. Any kind of violence is wrong. So I challenge anyone who's doing it, uh, and I'm putting it on record. Everyone can go and share the share the word now. It's actually a, you are actually demonstrating your fear and your inability to manage the power that's within you. Every time you commit violence, you actually let, let go of that power. You give it to someone else. Um, so, I'm asking you, hold on to your power. Understand that you are powerful, that you're good enough. You don't need to be scared. Um, walk away. Simply walk away. Uh, own who you are. Get clear on your goals, your values, um, and, and your behaviors. Take control and responsibility of everything in your life. Um, because most people who commit violence, they are they are usually dependent on someone else or to help them or someone to make them feel good. Uh, I'm challenging you. No one's got the power to control your emotions. No, that not about partner blow you. I'm got some woman. I'm controlling lovably. No one can control your feelings. So let's stop saying that. No, that you walking me bella and me me fighting. That's a demonstration of a lack of power. So, you know, in a nutshell, take take control of your life. <clears throat> take your power back, keep it. Um, you know, look inside, the answers are there. You can walk away, build a better life. So that's my challenge to everyone. So, anytime a person is violent, uh, anytime a man is violent, they're acting out, they're merely acting out their, their beliefs. Uh, if they've been raised or if they've experienced some kind of events in their life uh, throughout their childhood and up until they're about 21. 21 is when their beliefs are typically set in stone. But the first seven years from zero to seven is when they form their beliefs. We aren't born, men aren't born like this. You don't see them doing this stuff. Um, all women for that matter. But from how they're brought up and what they see in their zero to seven um, years, from childhood to seven years old, that has a massive impact. That's when they form their beliefs. After that, the next seven year block from about eight years until 14 years, they're out typically at school in the community, uh, away from their guardians. They spend mo most time out at school and so they're seeking evidence from their peers. So they will, those, that evidence will reinforce Typically, what they've learned at home, especially if you're in a, in a society where there's similar beliefs. Um, 
and then in the next seven year block, typically from about 15 to 21, this is all fairly rough. That's when we're testing. We might uh, experiment, um, typically when we have our first intimate relationship and we start exerting a level of, you know, levels of control in relationships, etc., etc. Based on those experiences, uh, alcohol, other substances, um, with with some people, based on those experiences, it, it cements this bel the beliefs that we formed and that we sought evidence. And now we tested them, and typically we're testing flawed beliefs. So by the time we get to 21, they're locked in for life. And so some of those beliefs are stored in the subconscious mind, not some, most of them, which makes up for 90% of the mind. So when I say earlier on, I mentioned it, you know we're not conscious. We're only aware of about 10% of what we're doing. The rest is our subconscious mind. So when we feel emotional, we can't control the situation. We just react, and that subconscious mind is taking over. Our beliefs, typically from when we were young, we saw mom or dad being violent. That just comes straight away. Everything can look rosy when you're 20, 21, 30. You might find out you're violent, physically violent in your, in your 30. Um, because of a situation that's <clears throat> that you, you can't control. So I guess that's the belief uh, development process that people aren't really aware of. And so they're trying to change it at conscious level, but they don't realize the individual has to shift in the subconscious mind. So they need a whole lot of uh, you know, coaching and hypnotherapy and other other kinds of therapy, psychotherapy, talking to counsel uh, counselors, etc to try and uh, change the, those beliefs. <clears throat> so, hence I mentioned those are good approaches to overcoming uh, violence. Yeah.